Well, I'd invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Acts chapter 14. We're going to be taking a look at 8 through 20. We have been going through uh, this second testimony of Luke to the continuing work of Jesus Christ through the apostles and the disciples of the apostolic church as they spread the gospel message and the church grew. We are in the midst of the first missionary journey, obviously. Uh, Paul and Barnabas first went to Cyprus and then they went north into um, uh, the area uh, that was known as Galatia, establishing the Galatian churches um, in uh, what is now the country of Turkey. Uh, now, most of those areas were Greek-speaking, but they also, generally, they had their own dialects. We're going to see a, a problem arising from the fact that uh, while Greek was generally spoken throughout the Mediterranean world as the lingua franca, uh, many a time a city would, uh, would have a, another primary language, a dialect that was unknown in some cases, uh, even to the apostles. But before we turn our attention to the Word of God, Let's go to the God who gave us this word, and let's ask for his blessing. Please join me. Well, sovereign Lord, we do pray that you would, uh, you would attune our minds to your word, that as it's read, Lord, that we would be hearing, and that we would be hearing uh, with that illuminating grace that only your Holy Spirit can give, shining upon the word so that we would see its meaning, understand it spiritually, we know, O oh Lord, that it's possible to read as, uh, as the Pharisees did, to read the word uh, zealously and yet to have that veil over our hearts that makes it impossible for us to see the light of the word and to understand it aright. We pray that would not be the case.